in this question there are two parts first one is we have to show that a is equals to a intersection b union a minus b and in second part we have to show a union b minus a is equals to a union b both the questions or both the parts are very easy to show using Venn diagrams first part is let's say i have set a and set b now a intersection b is the part common to both a and b and in this venn diagram that will be this part and a minus b is the part which we get after removing b from a or after removing the common part of a and b from a so we will be left with and if i take the union of green shaded part and the blue shaded part then i get my set a back this whole thing so a intersection b union a minus b is equal to a same way for the second part a union b minus a b minus a will be the part of b left after i subtract the common part of a and b that will be this so this is b minus a and union of that with a and that is this whole thing so if i take union of red shaded part and the green shaded part i get the complete a union b so a union b minus a is equals to a union b now we have to do this mathematically also and before i proceed to that let's just review that a intersection b is set of all the x such that x belongs to a and x belongs to b and a minus b is set of all the x such that x belongs to a and x does not belong to b In the same way b minus a will be set of all the x such that x belongs to b and x does not belong to a so now i move to proving these two statements or these two parts using mathematical expression first part that is a is equals to a intersection b union a minus b and we know that if we want to prove two sets is equal then we have to do this in two steps so to prove a equals a intersection b union a minus b i have to prove two things first a is subset of a intersection b union a minus b and second a intersection b union a minus b a subset of a and out of these two i'll do the first one first so i first prove this 
and to prove that I have to say so there is an element x that belongs to A and now I have to prove that this also belongs to A intersection B union A minus B. So, but here we don't know anything about whether x belongs to B or not. So, we have two cases, case 1, x may belong to B and case 2, x does not belong to B and in both the cases we have to show that x will be, x will belong to A intersection B union A minus B. Now, x and in both these cases x actually belongs to A. So, if x belongs to A and x also belongs to B and from this we can conclude that x will belong to A intersection B because x is there in both A and B. So, it will be there in A intersection B and if x is there in A intersection B then it will be in it will be in A intersection B union A minus B. So, when x belongs to A and x also belongs to B, it will belong to A intersection B union A minus B. In the second case, when x belongs to A but x does not belong to B, then we can say x will belong to A minus B because it belongs to A and it does not belong to B. And again in this case we can say if x belongs to a minus b then x will belong to a intersection b union a minus b. So, in both the cases we have shown that if x belongs to a irrespective of whether x belongs to b or not it will always be in a intersection b union a minus b. So, from this we can conclude that a will be a subset of a intersection B union A minus B. Now, I will show the second part that is the second part is A intersection B union A minus B is subset of A. So, and to prove that we assume say there is some element x which belongs to A intersection B union A minus B. So, because x belongs to A intersection B union A minus B, it has to belong to either A intersection B or A minus B. So, again we have two cases, case 1 x belongs to A intersection B or second case is x belongs to A minus B and in both the cases here we have to show that x will also belong to A. So, now if case 1 is true then x will belong to A intersection B and if x belongs to A intersection B then we know that x has to be there in both A and B. So, from this we can conclude x will belong to A. In case 2 because x belongs to A minus B and we know that if x belongs to A minus B, x belongs to A but x does not belong to B. So, from this also we conclude x belongs to A. So, in both the cases we have shown that x actually belongs to A irrespective of whether it is in A intersection B or A minus B. So, here we have shown that a intersection B union A minus B is subset of A. So, from 1 and 2 we can conclude that A is equals to A intersection B union A minus B. To prove second part of this question that is A union B minus A is equals to A union B and again as we already know to prove that we have to prove 
टू केसेस सॉरी वी हैव टू प्रूव टू केसेस फर्स्ट वन इज ए यूनियन बी माइनस ए इज सबसेट ऑफ ए यूनियन बी एंड सेकेंड केस विल बी ए यूनियन बी इज सबसेट ऑफ ए यूनियन बी माइनस ए एंड आई प्रूव द फर्स्ट केस फर्स्ट दैट इज ए यूनियन बी माइनस ए इज सबसेट ऑफ ए यूनियन बी सो आई लज्यूम से एक्स बिलोंग्स टू ए यूनियन बी माइनस ए बिकॉज एक्स बिलोंग्स टू ए यूनियन बी माइनस ए इट हैज टू बिलोंग टू एदर ए और बी माइनस ए सो केस वन विल टेक एक्स बिलोंग्स टू ए एंड केस टू विल टेक एक्स बिलोंग्स टू बी माइनस ए and in both the cases we have to show that x will belong to a union b now if x belongs to a then from that we can easily conclude x will belong to a union b and in the second case if x belongs to b minus a then we know x belongs to b and x does not belong to a so here because x belongs to b from this we conclude x will belong to a union b so in both the cases x will belong to a union b so we can say x will actually belong to a union b and from that we can conclude a union b minus a is subset of a union b next i'll prove the second statement which is <coughs> a union b is subset of a union b minus a and again i'll have to do the same process say x belongs to a union b and then i have to show that x also belongs to a union b minus a so if x belongs to a union b again there can be two cases case 1 and case 2 case 1 x belongs to a or case 2 x belongs to b so that eventually it will belong to a union b now if x belongs to a then we can directly conclude that x will belong to a union b minus a and if x belongs to b and does not belong to a then we can say that x will belong to b minus a both the cases uh, so here then we can conclude that x will belong to a union b minus a so in both the cases x belongs to a union b minus a implies a union b is a union b is a subset of a union b minus a so from first and second i can conclude that a union b minus a is equals to a union b